What if the largest predator to ever walk North America never went extinct? For over 10,000 years, the world believed this monster was gone forever, a victim of the Ice Age, buried in snow and time. But then, something surfaced. Something in the frozen north that scientists couldn't explain. Thermal images, giant prints, eyewitnesses who swear they saw it. And now researchers are asking questions they never dared before. What they found could rewrite everything we thought we knew about extinction and the monsters we left behind. Let us introduce you to a predator so terrifying, so massive, that even the fiercest modern animals would have stood no chance. Arctotus simus, also known as the short-faced bear. This creature didn't just rule the ancient forests of North America, it dominated them. When it stood upright, it reached over 12 feet tall. That's taller than a basketball hoop, and it weighed more than 2,000 pounds, the size of a compact car. But it wasn't some lumbering beast. It had long legs built for incredible speed, possibly fast enough to outrun a modern-day horse. Arctotus wasn't a scavenger like today's grizzlies. It was an apex predator, a strategic, bone-breaking killer designed for brute force and pursuit. With powerful jaws and a bite force strong enough to crush bone, it hunted massive prey and drove other predators away from kills. Its territory stretched from modern-day California to Florida and all the way up to Alaska. Fossils show a beast built for endurance, agility, and raw power. If this monster survived, even in the remotest corners of the Earth, we wouldn't be ready for it. The official narrative, Arctotus simus went extinct around 10,000 years ago, likely due to climate shifts and loss of prey. The fossil record ends there. No DNA from recent times, no skeletal remains, no confirmed sightings, just silence. But what if the story isn't over? What if extinction isn't always what it seems? In the vast, untamed wilderness of northern Canada and Alaska, there are places so remote no human has ever set foot. Millions of acres of dense forest and icy mountains, regions that remain totally unexplored to this day. And in those shadows, the mystery begins. Locals have whispered about enormous creatures, massive tracks in the snow that don't match any known species loud guttural roars echoing through valleys with no source in sight. Could Arctotus have escaped extinction by retreating deep into isolation? Could small populations have survived out of sight, out of reach? It sounds like science fiction until you see what researchers and locals have been finding. Because recently signs have started surfacing and they point to one shocking possibility. The short-faced bear may never have died out at all. In the past 20 years, strange sightings have poured in from hunters, trappers, and bush pilots, people who know the land better than anyone. They report creatures that don't match grizzlies, black bears, or polar bears. These animals are described as enormous, with legs too long, a face too short, and speed that shouldn't be possible. One Alaskan hunter said, it looked like a grizzly on stilts. It moved so fast and silently it didn't seem real. Others have found tracks wider than dinner plates, some up to 18 inches long, spaced in a way no known bear moves. In Yukon Territory, a pilot flying low saw a massive upright figure bolt into the trees, but couldn't identify it. No video. Just stunned silence. Eyewitnesses describe its presence as unnatural, almost prehistoric. The strange part? Most of these encounters happen in areas near where Arctotus fossils were originally discovered, as if something ancient never really left. Could these be hoaxes, misidentified animals? Sure, but not all of them. Not when multiple people from different regions report the same thing, and certainly not when the next piece of footage appears. Mainstream science remains skeptical, and understandably so. Most experts say a creature this large couldn't survive unnoticed. They argue we'd have bones, fur, or DNA if it still existed. But here's the twist. 
Over 18,000 new species are discovered every year, many of them in places we thought were fully explored. And more than 95% of Alaska's interior is still uncharted wilderness. We're talking about vast forests, hidden valleys, deep caves, and ice-covered peaks, where an apex predator could thrive for generations without ever being detected. There's precedent too. The okapi was once thought to be a myth, so was the calicanth, a 400 million year old fish believed extinct until it was found alive in 1938. So why not Arctodus? Why couldn't a few survivors have adapted, evolved and endured, hiding in the one environment capable of protecting them, the untouched North? Biologists say no, but nature often says otherwise. In early 2023, a wildlife drone operated by researchers studying wolf populations in a protected forest captured something chilling. A massive heat signature appeared in the thermal camera. Walking upright at nearly 10 feet tall, moving with fluid speed across a frozen valley. It wasn't a human, too large, too fast. And the gait, completely unnatural. The footage lasted less than 15 seconds before the figure vanished into thick trees. It was grainy, blurry, and yet undeniably real. The researchers thought it might have been equipment malfunction until they sent a ground team to investigate. What they found left everyone speechless. In the snow were footprints, dozens of them, too large for any bear and too deep for any human to leave. No claw marks, no dragging, just clean, defined impressions nearly two feet long. The pattern suggested something walking bipedally upright with long, confident strides. They cast the prints, ran analysis, and compared the heat readings. The results inconclusive, but no known animal matched. If it was fake, it was masterfully done. But if it was real, then Arctodus never left. It's just been waiting for us to notice. So, what exactly are we dealing with? Is this a direct descendant of Arctodus? A smaller, evolved version of the short-faced bear adapted to modern forests? Or could it be something more mysterious? A cryptid, a relic from an older age that defies categorization? Some experts believe it's just oversized grizzlies seen in poor light. Others think it's a new hybrid species, a result of cross-breeding between polar bears and grizzlies in the Arctic. But those explanations fall short when matched against the size, behavior, and footprints reported. And then there's the silence. No official confirmation, no follow-up reports, just a growing pile of stories, prints and clips dismissed as anomalies. But anomalies build patterns, and patterns reveal truths. Something is out there, too fast to catch, too big to ignore, and too mysterious to explain. And maybe, just maybe, it's the ancient predator we thought we buried in the Ice Age. Whether Arctodus simus has made a chilling return, or we're looking at something entirely new, one fact remains. The wilderness still hides monsters, creatures we thought extinct, legends we called myths, and shadows we never paid attention to, until now. The short-faced bear may have survived by doing what humans never could, disappearing completely. But the cracks are forming, the sightings are growing, and the evidence, it's starting to point in one direction. The monster is real. What do you think? Could this prehistoric predator still be roaming the untouched forests of the North? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We read them all. And if you're as fascinated by lost species, hidden creatures, and mysteries science can't explain, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button for more exhilarating discoveries. And join us as we uncover what the world isn't ready to believe. Up next, scientists found a sealed doorway on the moon and NASA won't talk about it. Click now before that mystery disappears too.